Welcome to Rock Your Class Kahoot. Are you looking to challenge yourself and compete against students from around the world? Are you looking for a fun and spirited session to test your wits and win prizes? Well, you found just the right place with Rock Your Class Kahoot presented by School Rubric, where we offer game shows and quizzes for students and teachers of all levels in French, math, English, and Spanish. And now we want to give a big welcome to your host for today. They call him the teacher rock star and he's a two-time Canadian artist of the year. He's racked up millions and millions of views on YouTube. He's toured the world to sold out theaters, arenas, and he's authored the number one selling book, Rock Your Class. Drop some clapping hand emojis in the chat box for your host, ATN. Now let's get started. I can't believe it. It is Thursday already, our Rock Your Class Kahoot time to get together, and we're doing English raps today. Are you ready to Kahoot today? I'm your host, Etienne, here on the School Rubric Network, and I am so excited to be here with you because the first thing we're going to do right now is announce the winners of the first ever Rock Your Class tournament where we had schools from all over the world competing every Tuesday for five weeks in an official, actually sanctioned tournament with standings, with player stats and everything like that. It's a real league. So I hope you can join us because we're going to be doing it again in the fall. So let's get to the standings. Our winner, our winning school from Austria is AIS. Congratulations, Austrians, my friends. All right, you're just fantastic. They led from pretty much the beginning right to the end even through the double round, which was on, on uh, this past Tuesday, that fifth week. And Lincoln Elementary from Iowa, congratulations, hanging on to second place. But Plato, you need to be shouted out. Plato came from fifth place up to third place in that last week, that double round week. So congratulations. And then, of course, we finish off with, with the school from Brazil, a uh, school from Macedonia, was your school part of this? We had schools from all over the world. In the standings, we only show the top five so that you can see them. But we had schools from all over the world. Are you going to join us in the fall when we do Rock Your Class Tournament number two? Go over to the YouTube's comment section and let me know the name of your school and let me know that you're going to join us because you're going to have to do your best to take that title from Austria because they, AIS, that school, is getting a huge plaque that they get to keep up in their school. So you're going to have to battle to take that championship away, but also the individual player stats. I'm about to announce right now your gold, silver, and bronze medalists for the Rock Your Class Tournament. And they are as follows. From Plato, congratulations. Uh, right from Chicago, Illinois, player player 625 from Plato. And followed by a silver medalist uh, from, from AIS 553. And player 458 from AIS takes the bronze medal out of the hundreds and hundreds of players from all over the world. Oh boy, can you believe it? Um, those are our gold, silver, and bronze medalists so congratulations can't wait to have the to the fall come back around and that we can do our second tournament but we are going to be here on thursdays to keep practicing our kahoot skills to sharpen those skills and today it is math wraps so all you're going to do if you're just joining us for the first time is you're going to enter the pin code that i'm about to announce and put it into your device and then get ready because I'm going to do some mad English raps. And you have to guess what English term I am rapping about. Are you ready? I got some water here. All right, let's do it. Let's bring it up. The game pin code 
is 227 1164. 227 1164. 227 1164. All right. So we're going to have players from all over the world right here battling it out, sharpening our English skills. Ah, this Rock Your Class Kahoot game. All right. So we've got Glowing Tiger, Groovy Puffin, Jolly Kitten, Lucky Lark, Super Otter. We've got Epic Dingo. We've got Brave Eagle in the house. I can't keep up. There are way too many of you. Do you, some of you have seven devices on you and you're just continuously making new names just to, you know, like, what is going on here? Now, if you are a fabulous goose or clever frog and you just got your name up there, go back over to the YouTube comment section and give a shout out right now to either your teacher or your school so that the school rubric uh, producers can pop it up on the screen. Uh, just like Liliana says, good luck to everybody. Liliana, you rock. Okay, that is so cool. Um, but that McDonald is the best, says Avery. Uh, I'll read some of these shout outs. Uh, McDonald's. All right, Mark gives a shout out as well. I love it. All right, we're getting the last names in. Remember, the code is 227 1164. And it'll be there. So if, if for whatever reason uh, you get. Uh, logged out or whatever happens just jump right back in and join we learned that in that tournament because the fifth week was double points week and so those teams that stuck with it right to the end were the ones that were rewarded particularly i'm thinking plato there for example all right shout out to rockwood shout out to mrs ryan i think we are ready people two two seven one one six four let's get rapping our english raps English rap number one says, I.E., I.E., good grief, call the chief. The police have to go and catch the what? I.E., I.E., good grief, call the chief. The police have to go and catch the. Is it you got beef? Is it thief? Is it coral reef? Is it I lost my teeth? Which one of these is the correct answer? You've got five seconds, people. Good grief. Did they catch the thief? Correct. Let's check our standings. Yellow hair. How dare you? Groovy lemur in second. Awesome chicken. Glad griffin and majestic koala round up our top five. Yellow hair. Can you win the race? Rap number two. Too long if too wordy, period. Too long if you're in jail, period. It starts with a capital letter, period. It, and always ends in a period, period. Too long if too wordy, period. Too long if you're in jail, period. It starts with a capital letter, period. And always ends in a period, period. What do you think it is? Am I talking about a sentence in English, reference in English, competence, or influence in English? Which one do you think that it is? Correct. 223 people knew that it was absolutely sentence. Yeah. Now, let's see yellow hair. Yellow hair? Where did you go? Glad Griffin's in first place. Groovy lemur. Awesome chicken. Glowing Sloth, and then Arctic Hen round up the top five. Question number three in our English rap says, My verb was so lonely, so lonely and sad. So I thought, what to my verb shall I ever add? My verb was so lonely, so lonely and sad. So I thought, what to my verb shall I ever add? What will it be? You've got noun, verb, Adjective or adverb. Three, two, one reveals that, of course, it's adverb. 143 people were threatening a sir. And Glad Griffin slides down as Awesome Chicken moves all the way up the 
to first place, Smooth Octopus in second, Elated Hen, uh, Great Otter, and Melodic Koala round up your top five. Rap number four says... The objective of the selective, word-friendly detective finds ways to brighten the lone standing noun. The objective of this selective, word-friendly detective finds ways to brighten the lone standing noun. So what's a good friend of a noun in, in English language? Do you know? Is it an adverb, an adjective, an ad noun, or an adventure? Huh? I don't know. But you better click because you have three seconds left. Ah! Right. Adjective. Exactly. Elated hen. You must be elated. You are in first place. Awesome chicken slips down to second. Soaring ant, melodic koala, and royal pelican. Welcome. Here we go. Number five. It helps in a flash. It looks like a dash without it. Two word combos would crash. It helps in a flash. It looks like a dash. Without it, two word combos would crash. What kind of thing do we use to combine two words in the English language? Hmm. Especially two words. Two worded words. Two worded has a little something in it. Is it a hyphen? A slash? Pocket cash or a dash? Ooh, that one was tough, wasn't it? The correct term is hyphen. Hyphen, that's right. So we're going to see a change in the leaderboard here. You see that a lady hen hangs on to first place, but Agent Ibex, Melodic Koala, Social Lizard, and Glad Kitten round up our top five, getting ready for number six. Found first on the page, its power is tidal. Or it can be found on the marquee for our recital. Without it, your understanding could be left idle. Found upper and center, never cast to the aisle. Found first on the page, its power is tidal. Or it can be found on the marquee of a recital. Without it, your understanding could be left idle. Found upper and center, never cast to the aisle. Is it tidal? Phrase, margin, or sentence. <gasps> yes, 186 people knew that it was title. Including Elated Hen, who maintains the lead. Agent Ibex in second place. Social Lizard climbing up to third. Glad Kitten climbing up to fourth. And Melodic Koala back in fifth place. Number seven. Can be a mother or father. Can come from near or farther. When they're right, they write. If you can't write, don't even bother. Can be a mother or father, can come from near or farther. When they're right, they write. If, they, if you can't write, don't even bother. What do you think it is? Is it a writer, an author, an Arthur, or a writer? Writer, author, Arthur, writer, 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 author, writer, 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 author, either writer, or an author, writer. 143 people knew that it's an author. Yeah. Next one. Here we go. Elated Hen hangs on to the first place lead. Glad Kitten, Dandy Lobster, Hello Yeah, a uh, Yellow Hair, Hello Yeah, <laughs> Hello There, Yellow Hair, <laughs> and Royal Pelican. Remember the game pin code is 2271164. If you uh, got logged out or something happened like that, or if you're just joining us, Keep going right to the end because at the end of the game, your teachers, and I'll explain this, can go to our website and put in the official number of players that are going, uh, that are representing your team. And what's going to happen is they will let us know, and each one of you counts for a prize draw. And these top five players are going to get more draw entries for your team. Okay. So it's really, really cool. We get cool prizes, people. All right. Here we go. Question number eight. Isn't this great? It can be the B in the B or the A in the hay. Consonant or vowel, they're used every day. It can be the B in the B or the A in the hay. Consonant or vowel, they're used every day. What could it be? Is it dashes, symbols, punctuation, or is it letters? It could be in the B in the B or the A in the hay. Consonant or vowel, they're used every day. These are cool English raps. I like them. They're fun to say.
And 280 of you people knew that it's letters. We take letters and we match them together to make everything work so that we can celebrate together. All right. Uh, go to the YouTube's content, content. Go to the YouTube comments section right now and let me know if you're enjoying these new English raps that we made for you today. Yeah. Now, if you are one of these people in the standings right now, I'm thinking if you're Glad Kitten, our friend Elated Hen, I'm so sorry that you got dropped off, Royal Pelican, Dandy Lobster, Yellow Hair, Le Legend Ostrich, here's what I want you to do. Snap a picture. Or if you're in school right now, teachers, snap a picture of the, the, the screen that the game is on right now and head over to at Rock Your Class. Right there you see on the screen, at Rock Your Class. And tag us so that we can give you a shout out back. I'll give you two more options uh, for social media shout outs and uh, two more questions. Here we go. The next one. In the classroom, they're the main feature, though sometimes they are a curious creature. If students' minds are the hunger, they are the feeder. In the classroom, they're a main feature, though sometimes they are a curious creature. If students' minds are the hunger, they are the feeder. Are we talking custodians, teachers, principals, or students? What are we talking about? <laughs> Click, 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 click as fast as you possibly can. You're right. It is teachers. 125. Four of you knew that. It was teachers. Very good. And let's check it out. Glad Kitten maintains first place, but Dandy Lobster is now in second. Royal Pelican in third. Genius Panda and Yellow Hair is there. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Let's go to number 10. Shakespeare Dunn wrote them. At least that's what they say. They make they made actors out of his stories in all different ways. Shakespeare Dunn wrote them. At least that's what they say. They made actors act out his stories in all different ways. Is it a book, a play, a story, a script? After you answer, I want you to go on your onto the YouTube's comment section and let us know again what school you are representing, and we will put it up on the screen right now, all right, from Rockwood Public School, for example. And then you can also go on socials right now at School Rubric or at RYC Kahoot on Twitter, okay? So at School Rubric anywhere or on Twitter specifically at RYC Kahoot. And show us these pictures. Let us know. Herb Campbell, we want to let you know that we think it's awesome that you are spending time with us today, all every Thursday, right here on the School Rubric Network. All right, let's find the standings here before we get to the last question. Glad Kitten, Dandy Lobster, Royal Pelican, Yellow Hair, and Royal Sphinx. Very, very good. Congratulations. Now, we're going to go to the last question. We're going to find out who's the big winners today, okay? And remember, all of you who play all the way through, earn entries for your school. We'll explain how that can work. Okay, here we go. The last question. Click any answer as fast as you can. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. If you've heard it, then it is what you heard. Letters forming together in manners absurd. Used by influencers, rappers, nerds. Whether written or spoken, both are preferred. What was rhyming with that? You heard, absurd, nerds, preferred. Is it letter, sentence, word, or punctuation? Correct. It's word. Now let's check our final standings. Ah, it's not a big secret. Royal Sphinx is in third place. Congratulations. Second place, Lated Hen. And your first place winner, of course, is absolutely Glad Kitten. And congratulations to our fourth and fifth place players, Dandy and Quick. Good job to you as well. So here's what's going to happen. You're going to move over to your teachers are going to go over to rockyourclass.com all right rockyourclass.com slash contests contests and that's where you're going to find this little entry box that you see and click on that teachers let us know the name of your school how many players that means how many students played in today's uh rock your class kahoot on the school rubric network and then we will count every single one of them for the draw entry and let us know if you had top five players because they will count for extra entries 
So, and not just for the contest for this month, but also the bigger one in June that is coming up. So, all right. Now, keep joining us every Thursday. Now, challenge other schools. Challenge your friends to come. Let's get more and more people out here as we head to the end of the school year. Sound like a good idea? All right. So the upcoming wraps next week, we've got a French one, which is going to be super cool. And the week after that is going to be a general one. So it's going to be just get ready for this. It's going to be trick, trick, tricky. And then followed by another math wrap one as well. If I'm, if I'm correct, uh, this, yeah, I think it is. And then we go back to French. So yes. All right, cool. So on behalf of all of us here at Rock Your Class Cahoots and the School Rubric Network, can't wait to see you next Thursday. You have a great weekend, but you got to come next Thursday. All right. All right. Signing off, me, Etienne. See you soon. Thank you again for playing Rock Your Class Kahoot, sponsored by School Rubric, where teachers and students from all over the world gather to test their knowledge and skills in French, math, English, and Spanish. Make sure that you hit the subscribe, follow, and like button to stay tuned for more competitions and prizes from Rock Your Class Kahoot and other great content and shows from School Rubric. We'll see you again. Remember, win, learn, have fun. Rock your class kahoot with ATN. See you next time.